I got Gonka Pocket Fit Test Machine, this test machine in addition to the color, the rest, and the production version is not different, I also self-funded to buy a, but currently does not ship, the price of $14.99 to buy a full-blooded 8 frames per second 3-hole machine, there is such a good thing, although it is a sub-brand under the 2.6 plus, but the should have been given, trigger lock spare parts, and LCRC formulated buttons, even the Xbox button for streaming is on it, including the 144 high swipe. Screen Of course, I also disassembled the machine to see how the workmanship is in the end. Let's take a look at the independent fan. And the heat sink in the corresponding position. It's easy to press 20 watts. Although it is said to be plastic feel. It's not like it's poor. Why do you need a bicycle? Just put a cover on it. There's nothing wrong with it. So without further ado. This video will teach you some advanced ways to play with this machine. How to squeeze the pocket fit. I'll be demonstrating this in the front of the video. And then I'll give you a tutorial at the end of the video. You can just jump to the corresponding location. I've also packed all the resources you'll need. Do not worry. The front row reminds you of the risks of flashing your phone. And after the lot will lose the manufacturer's warranty. Please note. We need to lot this machine. As you can see, my mask is already installed. So what is the use of lot? After lot we can install this software. Global frame filling. Then some games can run from 60 to 120 frames per second. This machine can be fully utilized. 114 hertz screen. The tutorials and software tutorials. I'll show them later in the video. Let's take a look at it now. What it looks like in action. Let's play the Android game first. The classic wrecking cars. Then the environment of the moment to run the map. This map can be said. Before the needle is not patched 60 frames steady needle running. But after the patch. Because of the pinning it has a part of the cost. So when it was finished. It doesn't reach the full 60 frames per second. But you can see that it's hovering around 40 and 50 frames per second. And then when it's patched up. It's also doubled to 80 or 90 frames per second. Of course, it's in the environment. This scene is more stressful. When we go into a battle scene. The pressure will be much less. Let's look at a battle screen. You can see that the battle screen is not much. The whole time is 60 frames less than 120 frames. Sometimes the shield is stuck. It's actually my capture card. It also takes up some resources. Because I've switched to an external memory card. If you guys actually play the game. Will be even better than my demonstration. Next, we'll start up Harakami. The Protogod is also in full high quality. And it's a walking drive on the Protogod side. So I don't play a lot of Protogod progress. So I can only run the map for you in the virtual city. The pressure of the virtual city is still quite strong. You can see that from 60 to 120 frames per second. It's a steady line. After all, the pressure of the original god is less than that of the wind and iron side. Then we also find a combat group to test it. We've done a battle scene of a character trial. You can also see the effect of this frame filling. So after looking at the Android game, we're going to look at some PC games. This is the recent very hot trajectory of the air. I've been playing it too. In 1080p native resolution. Can easily run to more than 30 frames per second. Why would I buy a Switch? 
Switch is twice as expensive as this. And Switch games are even more expensive. I might as well just buy Steam. And then play with this, right? After the update of the Gaijin PC emulator? Currently, as long as you log in to your Steam account, you can synchronize your games on Steam directly. And it can also synchronize the archives. That is to say, the experience is almost the same as Steam Deck. Sign in to your Steam account. Then you can download games. Play the game. And then synchronize the archives. When I'm done playing outside, I can go home and continue to play directly on the PC off. If you think it's not smooth enough, it doesn't matter. We just need to lower the image quality to 720p. Is also completely enough. You can see in 720p. We lock 60 frames per second. It's a steady 60 frames per second. At this time, the graphics card is not even full yet. I can show you this image quality. You can see that we're running at 720p. And this quality is not always the lowest. Some of them are also in the center. Here is also a demonstration of a monster fighting scene. You can see that it is very smooth. 60 frames a steady line. Then I know there must be some people ask. So the PC emulator cannot fill in the frame ah. Hello can. Of course you can. You can see that now I will be 720p the quality of this picture to fill in the frame. Because of the frame filling it is also to consume a certain amount of resources. So now there is no way to maintain a straight line of 60 frames per second. It's not even worth it. Mainly because this game then. Currently running GPU it has basically. So basically there are no resources to give that frame filler the. So it depends on whether you have the demand for this frame filler. I suggest that you have some other games small games and so on can go to fill the frame. You can patch him from 60 frames per second to 120 frames per second. It's not a very resource intensive game. This is a game that's a little bit more resource intensive. You can see that when he plays it. It stays at 80 frames per second and 90 frames per second. Then I use the Gaijin game it. I also tested many games off. All can run normally. You can go to see my last video off. That's the video of a Genio Poke S2. So the PC simulation period is over. Let's look at the performance of streaming. You can see that I am now 1080p 120 frames per second. And then I pulled the bitrate to 200 to streaming. Thanks to the better CPU codec. And Wi-Fi 6 support. This chip supports Wi-Fi 7. But I only have a Wi-Fi 6 router at home. You can see the latency of the codec now. It's only 2 milliseconds. Then add some network latency. It's less than 5 milliseconds overall. Of course, this is machine math. The actual latency will add a little bit more. But the streaming effect. It doesn't feel any delay at all. It's very smooth to play. Next is the picnic part. Disclaimer. I own a Switch Switch R. I have purchased the original. Please share with us, 